Andrea here with the Chief Pink, and today we're going to be doing an upper body straight set workout. So for this workout, we're going to be going through 12 exercises performed in straight sets, and we're going to do two sets of each exercise. Our working time is 30 seconds. Our break time is 15 seconds. There will be no extended breaks during this workout. If you like this workout, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to work. All right, we got about 20 seconds until we get started with our warm up. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout now. Our first exercise we're going to be going into is arm circles. So make sure you have some space out to the sides. Start with some nice little circles and then we'll move into large circles. Here we go, a couple seconds. Here we go. I'm already ready. Sorry, I'm going here. I know. We'll keep going with the arm circles. Here we go. So start making some bigger circles, and then halfway we'll probably reverse it. Don't forget to breathe. Good controlled movements. You go reverse it if you want. Better not uh, hit my fingers or my hands today. I know. We're going into internal and external rotations next. There we go. So arms up, coming back, pulling the hands back, rotating down. Pulling them back, there we go. So external rotation here, drop down, internal rotation of the shoulders here. There we go. <clears throat> if you see Jen squirming today, it's because she's got a few stitches in her finger. There was <laughs> an operator error finger. while working a knife. And so, a sippy cup. Yeah. <laughs> a sippy cup was involved. While doing surgery on a sippy cup. <laughs> All right, we're gonna drop down for the next one. We're gonna do push-ups on our knees with an alternating row. So. Get a push up, come up, get a nice little row. There we go. Go at your own pace. If you want, you can even kind of open up right here, squeeze the back. Whew. Nice and easy here. After this, we're going to stand back up for some trunk twists. Make sure you keep the core engaged. Let's get one more push up. There we go. So we get our feet nice and wide here. Start rotating at the core or the trunk. And then as time passes, what we'll do is we'll start getting the hips into it. There we go. So start moving the hips in, feeling the stretch out in the hips. Still rotating the core or the trunk around. There we go. Next we're going into some bodyweight squats. I know it's an upper body workout, but squats, uh, you know, get the blood flowing. There we go, feet about shoulder width apart. Dropping down, coming up. There we go, nice and easy. Don't forget to breathe. Weight in your heels, chest out, head up. Again, go at your own pace. There we go. Next, we're going to be going into good mornings, which is similar to an RDL, but we're actually going to be bending at our lower back during this one. Here we go, feet together. And then we're going to drop down. Bending at the lower back right here, stretching it out, and then coming back up nice and easy. Again, go at your own pace. If you want to kind of hang out right here, let the back stretch out. That's totally fine. Another option is you can kind of drop into an RDL, so keeping the back straight at first, and then start to bend it. And then come back up to the RDL, and lift back up. Here we go. All right, we've got about 20 seconds until we get started with the workout. Our first exercise we're going into is close curls. So let's grab our bands or band. We're going to step on the band or bands with our feet. Right here, what we're going to do is I like to keep the handles together and then come up and back down. If you want, you can start from the sides and then bring them up and together and then end out by your sides. Either one's totally fine. Keep them together the whole time or bringing them together as you come up. Here we go. Good controlled movements here. Make sure to keep the elbows by the sides. Don't forget to breathe. There we go. Come up. Squeeze those biceps, Jen. I am. <laughs> you can't tell. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, we're going back into it. So going back into the close curls here. Keep pumping them arms up before we hit some back. Here we go. And up. And down. Up. 
And down. Good control movements. Don't forget to breathe. There we go. Come on. Oh yeah, feeling the pump. There we go. Keep pushing. We got seated rows coming up next. Let's go one more. There we go, so we're gonna drop down. On the mat, you can use a chair if you want. So, what we're gonna do here, make sure to wrap the bands completely around your foot. And then out, palms facing down, come back, and there we go. So you're kind of pulling towards your belly button here. Keeping the back nice and straight. There we go, come on. Palms facing the legs, chest out, come back, squeeze. There we go. Last one here. There we go. Go back into it. Making a little fancy heart, guys. <laughs> Making it a little tougher, huh? There we go. Stepping it up. Here we go. Move back. There we go. Good control movements. So we're focusing on today is kind of pre-exhausting the secondary muscles so then we can get a better workout with them during the primary. So we'll do biceps and then back. So now we're still getting that bicep work while they're tired. And then after this, we're we'll going into triceps and the chest. Here we go. Let's get one more. There we go. All right. So next. We got seated tricep kickbacks. So use a much lighter band here. Again, completely wrap it around. Here we go. Kind of elbows by the side. And then what we're gonna do is kick back. So everything is happening at the elbows here. There we go. And you can kind of see how my arms come out. Because if they went kind of straight down, they might hit the ground. We don't really want that. So come back, squeeze the triceps. There we go. Come on. We got one more real quick. Ah, there we go. Let me see if I can uh, turn around real fast. See if I can slide around on my mat. There we go. Musical mats. Couple seconds. Here we go. So, come back, squeeze, and then there we go. Every time you extend at the elbows, squeeze those triceps. There we go. Good control movements. After this, we're gonna be going in to push-ups or chest press. Let's do one more. There we go. So Jen is going to be doing push-ups. I'll be doing the chest press here. So for the chest press, just put the bands behind you through the armpits. Here we go. Push it out, coming back down. Here we go. If you want, you can do your push-ups on your knees. That's totally fine. If you can do even two on your toes, try to do them on your toes as many as you can. And if I, I hold my bands like this, so then they don't really pull on the skin in between your thumb and index finger. Instead, it's on your palm at the wrist, which is a much better option. Here we go. Going back into it. I was going to try on my toes, but there's a lot of pressure on my finger. I'm scared. Mm -hmm. oh, I'll bet. Scared. We'll see how this goes. There we go. Good controlled movements. As you extend the arms, be sure to squeeze the chest. Bring those hands together. Squeeze. Come back. There we go. Come on. Let's get one more. Come on. There we go. All right, next we got hammer curls. It's hammer time! One of my favorite ones. 
right here. So stepping on them again, we're gonna rotate. You're making knots over there. <laughs> Come on, it was in a knot. <laughs> oh no. And um, Jen's over here trying to give us a knot tying seminar. <laughs> Function. There we go. Come on, remember, elbows stay by the side here. As we come down, we're not kicking them back like that. We don't want that to happen. There we go. Come up, squeeze, back down. Up, squeeze, back down. There we go. Come back into it. Keep pushing it out here, burning the biceps up, and then we're going back in the back. There we go. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. Good control movements. Come on. The biceps are on fire. <laughs> Two more, come on. Last one. We're gonna drop back down to the ground. Proceed to reverse grip rows. So this time, our palms are gonna be facing up. And our elbows are gonna be nice and close to the body here. So, palms up. And then we're pulling kind of straight back almost. Right here. There we go. Trying to keep it nice and low, keeping your hands kind of at the hips, not pulling up towards the belly button here. That way we can really try to activate the lats instead of the middle back. Come on. Exhale as you pull the bands back. There we go. Last one. There we go. Finger over here, huh? Getting a little close for too close for comfort. I know, I clarity. Don't touch my finger. There we go. Remember, palms facing up, elbows tucked nice and close to the body, hands stay low. Back nice and straight, chest out. Breathe. Here we go. Come on. Pushing. After this, we're standing up for overhead tricep extensions. There we go. So, you can just kind of drop one band down on the ground here. Step on the end. I'm about a foot or so away from the end. Come through, up and over. There we go. The band's kind of rubbing your back. What you can do is just step forward. Just make sure that the heel of the foot that is back is not lifting up. We don't want the band sliding out. There we go. Pull back into it. A little tougher. Step it up a little bit. Here we go. Did you do the same? I did. I nice. did the same thing. There we go. Squeeze the triceps to the top. Come up, squeeze. Back down. Up, squeeze. Back down. Woo! Come on. <laughs> We might regret this in the next exercise. Let's go. Let's get one more. Come on. There we go. All right, we got wide push-ups or incline chest press. You can do a lot of wide push-ups here. So get those hands out nice and wide on this one. For the chest press, what we're going to do is we're going to push up towards our head. There we go. So coming up and then back down. There we go. If you are doing the wide push-ups, make sure that your hands aren't like high up towards your shoulders. Your hands should still be down here by your chest. Even when you're out here coming down and up, they should be here, not up there. 
There we go. Come on. Oh yeah. Still burning them triceps. One more. Here we go. Woo! I told you it was gonna burn. Yeah. How's the finger? It's getting stretched a little bit. <laughs> it's alright though. Feeling some stitches pulling? Feel the tightness in my skin. <laughs> If you guys want photos or videos, we have videos of uh, Jen getting stitches. And FYI, she asked the doctor, actually she told the doctor <laughs> to redo one of the stitches because she thought it was ugly. She didn't want her finger to be ugly. So, she got three stitches, but one got pulled back out. One was just redone. <laughs> There we go. All right, we got bicep curls right here. Just some normal, plain old, basic bicep curls coming up. Here we go. Step on the bands again. Palms facing out. Coming straight up, straight down. Here we go. Don't forget to breathe. So exhale as you're pulling the bands up. Inhale as you're bringing them back down. Come on. Keep pushing. We're almost through this thing. Last one. There we go. Going back into it for set two. Here we go. Rock and roll. Here we go. Come on, focus on the biceps. Make sure you're not letting those elbows kick out. Remember, we don't want to do that. We want to keep the elbows by the side. Good control movements. 10 seconds. After this, we're going into shrug high pulls. Come on. One more. There we go. All right, so we got shark high pulls coming up. So what we're gonna do here, feet about shoulder width apart, try to heat up a little bit of the bands. You don't have to use super heavy resistance here. So we're gonna get the shrug and then the high pull. There we go, so bring the shoulders up and then drag the hands up the sides. Bam, just like that. Keep the head up. We don't want our head pulling down like that. Try to focus on bringing the shoulders up, not the head down. There we go. Shrug, eye pull. Shrug, eye pull. There we go. That lights the biceps up still. Every time with the biceps and then the back exercise, the biceps just get more and more smoked. Here we go. So shrug. And then high pull. There we go. Come on. Good control movements. Let's go. Come on. A few seconds left. Let's get two more. One more. There we go. Alright, we got shoulder press coming up. I'm going to be taking a knee for my shoulder press. If you want, you can do it standing. That's totally fine. So what I'm going to do is kind of step through the bands. Have the band on the or under the knee that is down. Palms facing out. Pushing up. Coming back down. Elbows stay in front of the shoulders. There we go. Good controlled movements here. You don't need super heavy resistance for shoulder press. Just want to get a nice good burn. You don't want to injure them. Let's get one more. There we go. Uh huh. I've been trying to hit up a lot of shoulders lately. You know, because I have a saying. You know the saying. You know the saying. I know you all know the saying. <laughs> We all know the saying. Uh huh. If you don't know, then I'll tell you. 
One way to make your waist look an inch skinnier is just to get your shoulders an inch wider. Uh, it's illusion. It's all about illusion. But it works. <laughs> Come on. You're just gonna put it to the test then. Mm -hmm. Let's grow our shoulders. Let's go. Ooh. One more. Ooh. All right, here we go. We're going into lateral raises next. So again with lateral raises, nice light resistance. Don't go super heavy here. We're just trying to focus on getting a burn. I have a 20 pound bands right here. So coming out, back down, slight bend in the elbows. Thumbs stay higher than the pinkies as you come up. Whew. Trying to keep that shoulder nice and safe. Here we go. If you need to, you can always alternate left and right. Give them a little extra break. Come on. Push it out. Last one here. There we go. All right, we got one set left and we are finished. Here we go, last one. Coming up, lateral raises. Burn it up. Here we go. Moving out, back down. There we go. Keep pushing. Oh yeah, shoulders are on fire. Come on, you got this. Let's go. Push it. Two more. Let's go. Last one. Woo! Done. There you go. You might even be able to go check out the uh, shoulders and waist thing right now if you got a nice little pump going on. There you go. Great workout today. <laughs> hope you guys push yourself. I hope you guys enjoy this workout. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. See you guys. Bye.